Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Lemon by Kenshi Yonezu. Okay, so here we go, give you a preview of the chorus section we're going to learn before we start teaching you how to play it. Okay, check it out, give you a preview, check it out. So it's so melody and block chords. We're gonna break it up to five parts to learn it. So let's go, let's get started. So here we go. Right hand starts on this C sharp here. So middle C, go up an octave to C, C sharp here. So first of all, this first part, we have this particular nine note motif played two times on the right hand. So it goes C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, up to D sharp, F sharp, down to C sharp, B. And then you repeat this nine note motif for a second time. That's it for the first part. It's a pretty simple nine note motive played two times, okay? One more time, it goes C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B. Repeat, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B. That's it for the right hand for the first part. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are E major, which is E, G sharp, B. And then second chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Third chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, fully black notes there. And then the fourth chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. So with these four chords in mind, so E major, B major, F sharp major, and G sharp minor, two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, G sharp and E major together, C sharp and B major together, G sharp and F sharp major together, together. That's it for the first part. One more time, it goes. Alright, moving on to the second part. Right hand continues. It goes C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, up to D sharp, F sharp, and then G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, up to the high B, A sharp, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, down to C sharp. And that's it for the right hand for the second part. Alright, let's do it again. So it goes like this. C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, up to D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp up to B, A sharp, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, down to C sharp. And that's it for the right hand for the second part, okay? Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are nearly similar to the first part, just the last chord is different. So once again, it's B major, B major, F sharp major. However, the fourth chord here changes to D sharp major, which is D sharp, G, A sharp, all right? So with these four chords in mind, so E major, B major, F sharp major, and D sharp major, two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, G sharp and E major together, G sharp and B major together, A sharp and F sharp major together, C sharp and D sharp major together. That's it for the second part. One more time, it goes, together, 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 together. Right, moving on to the third part. Uh, actually, before we do that, we play it back to back the two parts we've learned so far. Okay, check it out. Sounds awesome. Now, moving on to the third part now, okay? So, right hand goes C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B, 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 C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, A sharp, B. That's it for the right hand for the third part. Let's do it again. This goes C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B, 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 C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, A sharp, B. That's the right hand. Left hand, we have five chords here. The five chords are E major, E, G sharp, B, second chord, B major, B, D sharp, F sharp, and then the third chord, it's a four note chord, it's A sharp half diminished, which is A sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, and then fourth chord passes to D sharp major, which is D sharp, G, A sharp, and then the fifth and last chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp, okay? 
So with that five chords in mind, so E major, B major, A sharp half diminished, G, D sharp major, and then G sharp minor. Okay, so that. two hands together goes like this for this third part. Right hand starts, G sharp E major together, C sharp B major together, E and chord together, C sharp and chord together, B and G sharp minor together. Like that. One more time it goes. Awesome. Okay, back to back the three parts we've learned so far when we play like this. Awesome. Moving on to the fourth part, right hand continues, goes B, A sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, B, down to F sharp. And then D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, A sharp, B, B. That's it for the fourth part. Let's do it again. It goes B, A sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, B, down to F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, A sharp, B, B. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have five chords here. The five chords are C sharp minor, C sharp, E, G sharp, G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp, E major, which is E, G sharp, B. F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and then the fifth chord is F sharp, oh no, no, not F sharp, F half diminished, which is F, G sharp, B, D sharp, okay? It's a five, no, a uh, four note chord, okay? So with these five chords in mind, so C sharp minor, G sharp minor, E major, F sharp major, and F half diminished. Two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, G sharp and C sharp minor together, B and G sharp minor together, G sharp and E major together, A sharp and F sharp major together, last B and chord together, like that. One more time, it goes together, 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 together. That's the fourth part. Back to back, the four parts we've learned so far when we play like this. continues it goes B A sharp G sharp A sharp B C sharp B down to F sharp up to B C sharp D sharp E C sharp B B that's it for the right hand for the fifth part let's do it again it goes B A sharp G sharp A sharp B C sharp B F sharp B C sharp D sharp B C sharp B B that's it for the right hand left hand we have five chords here the five chords are C sharp minor C sharp E G sharp Second chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp B D sharp. Third chord is E major, which is E G sharp B. Fourth chord is F sharp major, F sharp A sharp C sharp, and fifth chord is B major, B D sharp F sharp. So with these five chords in mind, so C sharp minor, G sharp minor, E major, F sharp major, and B major. The two hands together goes like this: right hand starts, G sharp and C sharp minor together, B and G sharp minor together, D sharp E major together, C sharp and F sharp major together. Last B and B major together. Like that. Let's do it again. It goes together, 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 together. Alright. So, yeah. Back to back, all four, I have five parts will be played like this. Check it out. Pretty quick changing chords, so if you want to make your own improvisation and decorations, you need to practice the melody and chords good first. Then you can start adding other improvisations like left hand, you can do like octave, arpeggio, patterns, and then like rhythmic patterns. And right hand, you can harmonize it based on the chords to make it thicker in texture. So you can do something like this.
pretty awesome theme, okay? By the way, hope you enjoyed this lesson, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to learn more Japanese songs like this, I have playlists, and just do a search, and you can find your favorite Japanese song to learn. And as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.